Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Beer Bar Neon. I've uh, got another beer review for you guys today. Uh, this time we've got another can release out of Devil's Peak. It's part of the collaborative series or collaboration series. This collaboration is with Fierce Beer out in Scotland. This is a raspberry pale ale and it comes in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. According to the can, ingredients include all natural malt, wheat, hops, lactose, raspberry puree, selected yeast, oats and water. Another awesome looking can from the guys at Devil's Peak. Awesome can design, I really like it. Right, so let's crack this thing open and get it into a glass and see how it smells and tastes. So I have had this before. There's been some mixed reviews about this, um, but yeah, I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. So immediately you can see it is definitely not your traditional pale ale color of pinkness to it some raspberry color some redness coming through on the hue there very nice looking beer though very very crisp clean finger about a finger maybe half a finger of very very white head it's definitely murky wouldn't go far say hazy it's not clear by all means cool so let's give it a smell and uh, see what sort of aromas we're getting from this mm. so i'm definitely getting some raspberry yeah definitely some raspberry characteristics strange there's a strange aroma, it's almost like a sourness. Not much else though, but then again, it's not an IPA, so it's not overly hopped. Let's see what this tastes like. Cheers. So definitely raspberry, definitely sour, quite sharp. A lot of the stick that I think this one took was because of it being quite sharp and quite sour, but I mean, they're using pale malts and they're making an ale using raspberries. So essentially, I think they've pulled it off. Whether or not it, it actually is something that, that works is questionable. And a lot of people seem to have commented that it might have worked better as a sour beer. They maybe could have balanced it out with maybe some more malts. I like it, I enjoy it. It's crisp, it's refreshing, it's quite a pucker beer. You definitely get those raspberry notes. It's like fresh raspberry, so quite a sour palate, but easy drinking. I mean, if you don't like the sour profile, maybe it's not gonna be something that's gonna appeal to you. Maybe not something for the current weather conditions. I think it would go down well on a hot summer's day, maybe after hike or something like that. So guys, all in all, I think this one gets maybe a B for me. I don't think they've quite hit it out the park with this one, although they've definitely made a raspberry infused pale ale. Ultimately, I think there should have been a slightly better balance of uh, malt versus the sourness that's coming from, from the raspberries. You definitely get that raspberry flavor and it's a, a very sessionable, easy drinking beer. Uh, I'm not sure if you can really pick this up again, unless you may be holding on to a couple of cans. All in all, not a bad effort, just slightly off the mark in my opinion. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you do, uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, follow me on social media and hit that subscribe button. Keep drinking good beers and I'll see you around soon. Cheers.